Coming up in this video, I've got five absolutely delicious cocktails, very simple cocktails that you can make up at home or in your pubs and bars using Whitney Neal's brand new uh, limited edition uh, gooseberry gin. So if you want five delicious recipes that you can make, stay tuned. Hey there, I'm Steve DeBarman and I'm hoping these videos will help you drink, serve and enjoy your favourite spirits even more by providing you with very simple drinks inspiration. If you like this video then make sure you hit that like button and then subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any future videos. And in the comments below I want to hear from you so let me know your top tips of how to best enjoy this gin. Right then cocktail number one we're going for a gooseberry cooler and we're going to make it in a highball. This is a 16 ounce glass whatever you've got at home just a nice tall glass. Pour in 50 ml of your gooseberry gin. Then you want 1515 ml of freshly squeezed lemon juice. Then we want another 15 ml of pear liqueur. Pear goes amazingly well with gooseberries, so this will work very, very well. 15 ml. Then for your mixer, you want two thirds of a bottle of Lixer's lemon and elderflower tonic. Absolutely delicious this, so three quarters, two thirds, three quarters of a bottle. Then nearly fill your glass with ice, then take a long bar spoon, just give it a quick stir, top up with a bit more ice, then I'm gonna garnish this with a nice mint sprig and a straw. And there you have my gooseberry cooler with Lixer's um, lemon and elderflower tonic at Whitney Neal's brand new gooseberry gin. There's one piece of bar equipment that I cannot do without when I'm making cocktails, and that's the Mezcla Precisio measure. It's super accurate, it's a lot more than just a 25 mil, 50 mil measure. Inside the 25 mil end, we've got lines every five mil, and in the 50 mil end, we've got lines every 10 mil. Why is that important? Because not all cocktails call for 25 mil of this or 50 mil of that. So when you need 15 mil of lime juice or 10 mil of sugar, Syrup, the Mezcla Precisio measure is just absolutely amazing. Cocktail number two, again, we're going for a nice tall highball glass, but this time we're going for a spiced gooseberry mojito. Take a lime, cut it into wedges, and squeeze the wedges, all the wedges, into your glass. Then you want 15 one five ml of sugar syrup. Then take a muddler and very gently Muddle and get all that juice out of the limes and all the flavour out of the zest. Next, you want 50 ml of your Whitley Neal gooseberry gin. Then you want 10 to 12 mint leaves, fresh mint leaves, palm your hand, give them a spank and then pop them in your glass. Now the spiced aspect of this mojito comes from the soda. We're not going traditional soda. Instead, we're going Merchant's Heart Pink peppercorn tonic water, which is absolutely lovely. Half fill your glass, take four or five cubes of ice, just pop them in. Take your long bar spoon and give it a quick churn, then just top your mojito with crushed ice. Take another sprig of mint as your garnish, and then take your straw right beside the mint, so when you have a sip, the mint's going up, and that is my spiced um, gooseberry mojito. Cocktail number three, we're going for a kiwi and gooseberry caiparissima. Take half a lime, cut it into about six cubes and pop them straight in to your rocks glass. Then you want 15 ml again of sugar syrup. Take your muddler and very gently get all the juice and the zest out of the limes. Now you need your kiwi. I've got a kiwi here, peeled, and then cut down into cubes. We're just gonna pop them in, and then give them another muddle to get all the juice out of the kiwi. Now you need your gin, so I'm going 50 ml of gooseberry gin. Then three quarters fill your glass with crushed ice. Take your long bar spoon, 
and just give it a very quick churn. Fill your glass with even more crushed ice. To garnish, you could either go a wheel of kiwi fruit, or I've got a lime wheel there and a little sip straw. And that is your kiwi and gooseberry kaiparissima. Cocktail number four is going to be a gooseberry bit fizz. So take your champagne flutes, just chill the glass down, just gonna use some crushed ice and set that to one side. In your cocktail shaker, 50 ml of gooseberry gin. 15 ml of freshly squeezed lemon juice. Then 10 ml of, I've got elderflower syrup, but an elderflower cordial will do the same job. 10 ml. Fill your cocktail shaker with ice. And then we're gonna shake for about 12 seconds. Get rid of your ice out of your champagne flutes, nicely chilled. And then we're just gonna very gently strain our cocktail into the flutes. Then we're just gonna to top up with some nice carver. I like carver, but you could go Prosecco or champagne if you're feeling flush. Garnish with whatever you fancy, just for a color contrast, I am going a couple of raspberries. And that is my gooseberry fizz. Cheers. Your fifth cocktail is going to be a gooseberry daiquiri gin. Flavored gins make amazing daiquiris. So take your martini glass, I'm going for a Nick and Nora glass. We just want to chill it down with a bit of crushed ice. In your shaker, you want 50 ml of your gooseberry gin. Then we want 15 ml of triple sec. Triple sec is just an orange liqueur, think Cointreau and, and liqueurs like that. So 15 ml of triple sec. Now daiquiris are traditionally lime juice, but I think this lemon juice, freshly squeezed lemon juice works a lot better. So we're going for a whole 25 ml, one shot, of lemon juice and now we just want 10 ml of sugar syrup just to balance it out fill your shaker with cubed ice and then we just want to shake for about 12 seconds hard shake again get rid of your crushed ice out of your nicely chilled down glass then we're just going to very Gently strain the cocktail into a glass. Then just the garnish, again, garnish with whatever you want. I'm just going for another lime wheel. And that is my gooseberry daiquiri. So that's been my five cocktails you can make with Whitley Neal's amazing new gooseberry gin. Make sure you hit that like button and then in the comments below, uh, let me know which one is your favourite cocktail. I'll see you next time.